What's up guys, Dr. Andrew Ticket from Team Health. Today I'd like to teach us how to do pull-ups from beginner to advanced. So a good place to start with pull-ups, great exercise for working our back, our latissimus dorsi muscles, what, you know, what people commonly call the lats. Yeah, and a couple of those other muscles at the back, really good exercise for that. So just like the, the push-ups, it helps to begin with an incline variation. But what you want to do is keep your feet together. You don't want to sag your glutes. Keep everything nice and tight. And then you want to pull upwards. Pull forward like that. Control. Go all the way back, but don't droop at the bottom of the motion. Keep it nice and tight. Only movement is at your elbows and your shoulders. It's a compound movement. Works at two or more joints. See that? That's all that you want to do. You can always begin easier with a slight incline. You'll find that even for some people who don't have really good pulling strength, even when they're basically standing, it may actually be a hard exercise. Doesn't matter, begin at your level. So that's what you do. And make sure that you stretch at the back, but without drooping. Stretch all the way such that you get full range of motion. Once that's beginning to become a bit easy, you can do 10 to 15 repetitions of that. What you'd want to do is now to try and mimic the actual pull-up, you know? The actual pull-up you're pulling vertically, not diagonally, as I was doing. So what, what I like doing next, what I like help telling people to do next is the squat pull-ups. With the squat pull-ups, you get into a squat position at some kind of um, uh, medium height bar like this. And then what you want to do is to pull upwards. Still same form as you would with a normal pull-up. You want to stretch at the bottom like that and then you want to get the chest out begin by activating the back by getting the chest out and then pull think of pulling with your elbows so you pull with your elbows chest to bar control the down again don't sag totally when you reach down keep the chest activated pull up control down now one thing which you need to watch out with the squat pull-ups is don't cheat i don't want you to be standing up while you're doing pull-ups and you'll see it easily you see people who are doing squat pull-ups and this is the motion instead of having that direct upward motion you're seeing something like this because they are trying to push on their heels you're seeing something like this some kind of c curve happening that's because they're cheating it's not that it's not that it is straight up like that chest to bar and down all right, now once that's becoming a bit easier, you're doing 10 to 15 repetitions. Uh, again, you don't progress too fast. There's a risk of injury. Yeah, you can now begin using some of these things which you, which you see I have here. You can have, you can begin placing a weight on your laps while you're doing the squat pull-ups. You, you can have a partner assist you, but if you have like a weight belt, which I do have, I'll use it means that I can do it myself. So I'll just get my weight. I'll tie my belt quickly tight. Then I'll take the weight through. The belt should rest just above your hips. So there's no strain on your lower back. Give me this. Yeah, so the weight is there as you can see. And then I'm going to make it rest on my laps. So I get into a squat position. As you can see, there it is rested. And again, pull-ups, get your grip there. I'm using an overhand grip, as you can see. Overhand grip, and I'm going to pull all the way up. Pull up. Squeeze your lats at the bottom, control the down. Pull up with your elbows. Think of pulling with your elbows really so that you activate the lats more yeah again once you can do so this is 15 kgs i would recommend again just from training uh clients so much if you can begin doing 10 to 15 reps of a weight of about 20 to 30 kilograms on your laps you should be able now to begin to progress to the next motion with not so much difficulty so let's let's see what the next motion is Let me get this so fast.
All right, so the next variation would be uh, negative pull-ups. But again, I'd like to do them from a squat position. First, if you have a medium height bar, because it's a shorter distance from a high bar like that one. So get into a squat pull-up position and activate the, ba the, the back by getting the chest out nice and proud. And you're going to jump upwards to the bar. Control that down. So you want to squeeze your back muscles all the way as you come down. Again, jump up. Good. Another one. Just one more. Yeah, so you squeeze your back the full way as you go. And that will be a good progression to begin getting to the high bar. If you can do 10 to 15 reps of that, you should be good to begin going to the high bar. And again, with the high bar, you, you still could start with the pull-up negatives. So jumping pull-up. So you jump up and then squeeze all the way down. Control the negative. So let's go for three. In two, in one. Let's go all the way up, feet together. Control down, come down. Again, jump up. Keep the chest out. I like telling people as you do the jumping pull-ups, don't look down because you shrug forward, yet you want to keep the back tight. One more, two, one. Isometric into the negative, which is also called the eccentric. And those are your jumping pull-ups with some kind of negative pull-up coming in there. Fine. Once now you know what, this is all good for you. 10 to 15 reps, you're able to do that. You can now actually progress to a conventional pull-up. So conventional pull-up, you want to get onto the bar, overhand grip. Again, you seem like this, feet together, some kind of hollow body position, get the chest out and pull chest the bar. At least your chin should clear the bar. Again, feet together. One more. So don't keep, don't, something like that. You know what, like trying to get your feet up, keeping, and no. Strict, strict form, hold onto the bar, hollow body position, and then you want to pull up. Again, you want to make that harder. You can do 10 to 15 repetitions, again, what you want to add is some kind of weight. So you could either have a bag with books. Again, if you have these um, belts, it helps because you can just tie it around your waist, tie it around your waist, and then begin with any weight. That's a five kg dumbbell. You can start just at five kgs. Again, you want to do a weight which challenges you, but uh, with you doing proper form. Don't just, and it's nothing about showing off and what. So, it's about five kgs, five, six kgs, putting the bar. And using that form, rest it just above your hips. Don't rest it on your lower back, you'll feel pain, just on your hips. And then, three, two, one, let's go. Again, form, feet together, and chest out nice and proud, and let's pull. One more. Okay, for good luck, let's go. Control the down. And that would be your weighted pull-ups. All right, hope you found that video enlightening. If you're looking for a place to work out, to get fit, you know, get lean, get strong, come visit us at Plot 4 Hanlon Road, Bugolovi in Kampala, and we'll be glad to help. Also, if you're interested in meal plans and meal preparations, check out our website, www.teamnathealth.com for more information. We'll be glad to help.